book lice, otherwise known as socids, yep, that's their name, are tiny insects that love moisture, mold, and starchy materials. While they may be small, they cause big confusion. Thanks to their size and pale color, they're often mistaken for bedbug nymphs, especially unfed ones. But unlike bedbugs, book lice don't bite or feed on blood. The good news, they're more annoying than dangerous. The better news, you'll know exactly how to get rid of them by the end of this video. Let's break it down so you know what you're dealing with, why they're in your home, and how to evict them for good. Let's talk about some signs that you're dealing with book lice. So how do you know it's book lice and not something worse? First, look for tiny pale bugs crawling around windowsills, baseboards, pantry shelves, or even on the floors. Next, look for infested bags of flour, grain, cereal, or dried pet food. If you see bugs that scatter when you lift damp cardboard or paper or wet pet food feeding areas, this might be a sign you have book lice. Or if you have a light, moldy, or musty smell in cabinets, closets, bathrooms, or basements. Book lice are often confused with bed bug nymphs, but unlike those, book lice don't bite and are mostly after mold and mildew. So step one, get the humidity under control. This is your number one move. No matter how many sprays or traps you use, if the environment stays damp, book lice will stay too. Use a dehumidifier in rooms where you've seen them. Ventilate closets, bathrooms, and basements. Run fans or crack windows. Fix leaks fast, under sinks, behind toilets, or on your roof. Throw out any moldy books, cardboard, or paper. They're just harboring spots for book lice to feed on mold. Use damp rid, baking soda bowls, or silica gel packets in cabinets and drawers. Everyone gets those silica gel packets. Now it's time to reuse them. Book lice and dust mites thrive in humidity above 50%, so get your home closer to 40% or less and you'll cut off their lifeline. Step 2. Clean like you mean it. Once the air is dry, it's time to clean up their mess and any food sources they've been enjoying. Vacuum baseboards, windowsills, and corners regularly. Wipe down shelves and surfaces with vinegar or mild bleach solutions. Toss out infested food items. Don't risk it. Seal grains, flour, and pet food in airtight containers. Remove paper that's damp or moldy, especially if you have wallpaper. Replace cardboard boxes with plastic bins. Plastic bins won't hold moisture and allow book lice to enter and exit. If you found them in old books or photo albums, dry those items out in sunlight or place them in a sealed bin with silica packets. Book lice are not feeding on these items. Instead, they're feeding on the mold or mildew that are produced near these items. Step three, here are some natural methods to keep them away. Once you've deep cleaned, a few natural reinforcements can help prevent a comeback. Diatomaceous earth, lightly dust the inside of wall voids. This cuts their exoskeletons and dehydrates them. But I wouldn't necessarily put diatomaceous earth out and about on shelves. It can become airborne and it's a lung hazard. Essential oils like peppermint or rosemary are not really a solution, but they can help repel them. Sticky traps is an important step because it helps you monitor. Use them in humid corners, under sinks, or anywhere you saw them to monitor for any stragglers. Remember, these are maintenance tools. They're not magic wands. Cleaning and keeping moisture levels low comes first. Step four, don't spray. Instead, spend time sealing flowers and grains in airtight bins. Most book lice problems don't need chemical sprays, but if your infestation is large or keeps coming back, consult with a licensed pest pro for expert tips. They may assess your unique situation and give you advice on where to start. If you're renting, let your landlord know right away. Moisture issues are often their responsibility. The final tips to prevent book lice in the future, keep your space dry and mold free and they're likely not to return. Here's how to stay ahead of them. Run bathroom fans for at least 20 minutes after showering. Store books and papers in dry, well-ventilated areas. Avoid overloading closets. Air needs to move. Use plastic bins instead of cardboard in storage. Check groceries and packages before bringing them inside. If you've made it this far, you're basically a book lice expert now. These bugs are frustrating, but they're also a clue. Moisture is building up somewhere in your home. Solve that and you solve the problem. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and check out one of our other videos on bed bugs or carpet beetles for more pest prevention tips that actually work.